What do you do if you've learned your pentatonic scale or your blues scale, and when you go to solo with these scales, it just sounds mechanical. It sounds like you're just playing the scale up and down the neck. Well, this video is gonna help you out with that, and I'm gonna give you some tips and some ideas to break away from those boring sounding solos. And we're gonna do this over the classic Leonard Skinner song, Simple Man. Now, I already posted a lesson where I broke down the main guitar parts. Really, there's just three chords to this song. We're playing a C, a G, and an A minor, okay? That's our progression. We've got two beats, one, two on C, two beats on G, and then four on A minor, two, three, four. So right away, I'm gonna think, well, the A minor pentatonic scale would be a great scale to solo over this. But instead of just playing, you know, the scale straight up and down like this, what if I came up with some cool phrases and I copied what I hear on the recording? So that's gonna bring us to this first lick, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. All right, so there's a lot of cool things going on in this lick. The first bit is just walking up that A minor blues scale or A minor pentatonic there. Fifth fret on the third string up to seven. And then we're gonna play this classic sort of Southern rock or even country lick where you play the seventh fret on the third string and then the eighth fret on the second string. We're actually gonna bend up that note on the third string, that's D, up to E. And what that is, is bending into a C major chord. And for those of you that are in my CAGE program on my site, you'll recognize this chord shape right away. And he's just bending notes into that chord. And of course, the band is on C there, because remember, the progression goes C, G, A minor. So we bend up, and then bring it down, and then play the fifth fret on the third string, and then go to those two notes, those double stops, as just without the bend. So you just play them natural. Then we bend again, release, five, and then seven on the fourth string. That's the note A, and the band is on A minor. So the lick is following the chord changes, the notes in the chord changes. And that's why it works, that's why it sounds so good. Okay, then we move higher up the neck. Now you could have done it here. But I like getting up into this position, you know, because this is what Clapton would do all the time. Kind of licks right out of, this is gonna be the C shape here, out of caged. So here we're, we're moving up and we play the 12th fret on the third string. We do a hammer to the 14th fret, that's G to A. And then pluck it again, then go to the note C on the 13th fret of the second string, back to 14 on the third string. So that's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, so it's on the and a two. So we have the double stops down low and then we slide up to a higher position and do just a little melody there right out of the C shape from Caged. Here it is all together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So 
So all of that is just coming out of the A minor blues scale. And if you've had trouble with learning this up and down the neck and playing solos like this, I wanna give you a gift that's really gonna help you out. And what it is, is my blues scale PDF guide. And on it, I show you the five patterns that I use to map out the entire fretboard. So when you see licks like this, and solos, you'll be able to identify the scales being used, and you'll also be able to create your own phrases because you'll be able to see how this stuff just lays out on the neck. So I wanna give this to you, again, it's completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales, or you can click the first link down below and grab that as my gift to you. Lick number two goes up the octave and sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Here it is again. All right, so this is a very common guitar player thing to do. Play a lick and then play it an octave higher. So that's what we're essentially doing at the start, but then we veer off. So we start out going 17 to 19 on the third string, which is the same as this. It's just 12 frets higher. Okay, and then we're gonna do that double stop bend. So now I'm on, let's see, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Okay, 19 on the third string, 20 on the second string. Bend it up, then come down to 17, and then the natural, the natural double stop, just like this. That, I just thought that that sounded like uh, the, um, what's the name of that Clapton song? Wonderful Tonight, that's the one. So. Okay, and then again, okay, that's bending up, coming down to 17, and then 19 on the fourth string. Now that's where we ended before, but now we're gonna jump back up to the 20th fret on the second string. That's the note G going into A, a whole step bend. Now here, we get real crazy. We play 17 and 17 on, so that's second string, then first string. So. Then we go to 20 and we just start staring up the bend. Like you start small and then you bend higher and higher. Okay, so. And then come back to natural, so. Such a cool sound. Then 17 on the first string, 17 on the second string, 20 bend. So we've got that stare up and then we come down to more just of the A minor blues scale, so. Here it is all together. One more time. All right, this next lick has a real vocal quality to it, and it's something that I heard Jimi Hendrix do a lot, and I really love the sound. It's like. It's the idea of just playing a lot on one string. And this is a great exercise, just to try and solo that way. Okay, now this lick is, it's not all on one string, but it has a little bit of that in the middle of the lick. You'll hear it, check it out, it sounds like this. All right, so we're starting on the fifth fret of the fourth string, sliding up to seven. That's G to A. Then C on the third string. D slide to E, that's seven to nine. 
Okay, then we're gonna pluck it again. Slide it up to 12. Pluck it again, slide it up to 14. Okay, and then 14, 13 on the second string, back to 14. And of course, the band, remember our progression, C, G, A minor. Well, if you take A minor up the octave, again, this is, this is a, another cage thing, right? This is like the C shape. Here's the relative minor, A minor. There's our solo. All right, now that begins on one E and a two E. And it's on the E of two, okay? So it's a 16th note sort of pickup or anticipation into the lick. Here's what it sounds like with some backing. All right, so there's three great phrases and a lot of ideas in those licks that you can steal and combine with the A minor blues scale and you'll be on your way. So to grab my guide for this, just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales and you can learn those five patterns and then really you're just off to the races putting this all together. So have fun and for more Leonard Skinner, check out this video next.